Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Wireshark at Simply Learn. Do you know friends that Wireshark is a powerful network protocol analyzer that helps you capture and analyze network traffic in real time. It allows you to deep dive into data packets traveling through your network, giving you insights into network performance, security and troubleshooting. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the basics of using Wireshark from setting up your capture environment to interpreting the data. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to navigate Wireshark interface, set of filters, and analyze the network traffic for different use cases. So guys, let's get started. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got an advanced executive program in cybersecurity. You can become an industry ready professional with our advanced executive program in cybersecurity and transform your career in six months. This high engagement course offers real world applications and a masterclass by ex NPCI expert. It is designed for individuals seeking for new and more fulfilling career. So hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let us start first by understanding what is Wireshark. So guys, Wireshark is a comprehensive open source network protocol analyzer that basically allows user to capture and analyze the data traveling over the network in real time. It is widely used by network administrators, security professionals, and also developers for various purposes. For example, guys, like network troubleshooting, where you have to identify and resolve network issues by examining the traffic patterns and diagnosing the connectivity problems. The next one is network analysis, which we'll also be doing in our hands-on, where you have to understand and optimize network performance by analyzing data flows and interaction between network systems. The third one is security auditing. You will also have to detect and investigate unusual or potentially malicious network activities, such as unauthorized access or data breaches. And finally, you have a protocol development where you can debug and develop network protocols by capturing and analyzing protocol messages and behaviors. The key features of Wireshark are, the first one is packet capture. Wireshark captures packets of data transmitted over the network. Each packet contains a wealth of information, including source and destination addresses. And also you get protocol types and payload data. So as you can see all over here, I've already downloaded Wireshark and I'll guide you also how to download it but as you can see, these are the lines that shows that the Wi-Fi packet, you know, graph is showing that this is how the packets are transmitting. So this is basically the real time analysis, what you can get through in Wireshark. Next one is you get a detailed inspection. Guys, Wireshark also decodes and displays data at various protocol layers. Example, you can get Ethernet, IP, TCP, HTTP, which allows for detailed examinations of network communications. You can also perform filtering and searching. Then you'll also get a chance to do data visualization, which includes features for visualizing network graphics, such as flow graphs, as you can see all over here, and also statistics, which can help in understanding network behavior and performance. Wireshark is available for multi-operating systems, like for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and many more. Now there are certain scenarios where network security engineers use it. Suppose for network performance monitoring, where you track and analyze the performance of network applications and services. You also get an incident response. You investigate and respond to network security incidents by analyzing captured traffic. And you also do the protocol analysis, where you examine and troubleshoot network protocols and ensure proper implementation. Now, let us start with the Wireshark. So first, let us download the Wireshark. And before we download it, I expect that you would have got some brief idea regarding what is Wireshark. Now, what do you have to do guys? You have to go at this link, wireshark.org.download.html. So since I'm using Windows, so I have clicked on Windows X64 installer. Just right click on this. So as you can see, it will start downloading. So guys, since I've already downloaded it, I may not have to do it again. And the steps are very simple. Just you have to click yes, yes, and it's going to download all the required dependencies and your installer will be ready. And after clicking all the okays, you are going to get something like this. 
So this is your entry of the Wireshark network analyzer. Now, so as you can see all over here, you can capture the network packets from these interfaces. So you can see local area connection 10, adapter, lookup, traffic capture, Bluetooth is there, then you have the ethernets, okay? So let us choose the Wi-Fi as a network interface, okay? And just click on this. So as you can see all over here, so many of the packets have started running up, okay? And this is a shark icon. So basically, it is uh, doing the real-time packet capturing where you have all these things. So now, let us try to understand what is there in Wireshark. So you can see you have file, basically, for managing files. You have open, save, export, okay? So you, these kind of options are there. You can also export the TLS session keys, okay? You can export the objects, and uh, you can do print, quit. Then here in the edit, so edit, you can modify the preferences, settings, and profiles. If you talk about view, you can adjust the layout all over here of Wireshark. If you talk about go, you can navigate through the packets all over here. Then here is a capture. You can start or stop all over here. You can restart it. Then next is analyze. So as you can see all over here, you have display filters, display filter macros, display filter expressions, and many more, okay? Similarly, you have statistics, okay? Which helps in viewing network statistics and data summaries. Here you have telephony for using these kind of protocols, okay? Then you have wireless, okay? Then you have tools all over here, firewall, ACL rules, MAC address, okay? And there you have the help icon. So this is a very basic outview of this application. Now, let us do some basic exercises first. So let us try to capture a traffic first, okay? So since I've already selected uh, our network interface as Wi-Fi, and let us restart it. So you can just go on capture and just start the restart. So this has started. Now go to your browser and just type, say, HTTP, okay? And say bin.org is the file. So guys, this is a basic website that we have requested on our browser. And let us go to our Wireshark and stop this for a moment. So as you can see all over here, this icon shows applying a display filter. Now go all over here and type the filter, say, HTTP. And you can say our filtering would be done. So as you can see, here you have the source, you have the destination, here you have the time, here you have the number, here you have the length of the packets, okay? And this is the info, okay? So now, let us do the general analysis of the Wireshark output. So as you can see all over here, the first one is HTTP requests and responses. So as you can see, this is our source, okay? We are sending a request to the destination address, with 44.219.81.240. The protocol is HTTP and the length of the packet is 480. And it is basically a GET request, okay? So GET HTTP slash 1.1. Now, there's a reply from this destination all over here and uh, to the destination at our source. The protocol is still HTTP. Now the length of the packet is increased, is 887. And what we are getting guys all over here that the status is 200 and it says okay. Now, as you can see, what we are getting basically an HTML file all over here, okay. Now, similarly, we are again requesting and we are getting a JSON file all over here. Now, getting a specific JSON HTTP 1.1 and similarly, reply is coming. So, as you can see, it's a to and fro motion where we are requesting to a destination, which is the browser with the protocol HTTP. And similarly, we are getting a reply from our destination. So, guys, this is our device and this is the given uh, resource we are trying to access on our browser. So basically, now we can see these are the content types, which is text HTML for the HTML structure, okay? Uh, and also you can see all over here, this is a JSON type, okay? And uh, these are the type of the content we are trying to access it, okay? And this is the uh, request what we have uh, done to our uh, destination which is the browser, okay, with the bin org, and it is returning a text.html file. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea like how you can do the general analysis of the Wireshark output. Now let us try to do one more example, which will make our concepts more clear. Now guys, I will show you one more use case of this, that you can diagnose the network issues with ping and trace command. Okay, 
So with the help of Wireshark, this can also be done, guys. So what you need next is you can open a terminal, okay? And just right click all over here. And now in this, what we are going to do, guys, we are going to generate an ICMP traffic. So with the help of ping command, okay? So now what we do, we type ping, say google.com, And you can see all over here, the request and reply have started. And now what we'll do guys, we will use the tracer command for tracing our packet flow. So, so you can see something we have got all over here. We will discuss about this bit later. Now let us open our Wireshark, okay? And what we'll do guys, we will type ICMP, okay? And just click all over here. Okay. So guys, go to the filter and type ICMP. Okay. And just click all over here. And but before that, you have to stop this. And now let us try. So you can see all over here that here the destination is showing unreachable. But here we are getting the reply. Okay. Now let us try to examine this protocol. Okay. So what all over here, let us try to understand first what we did in the terminal, okay? So guys, when we are typing the command ping google.com, this command is basically testing the reachability of google.com by sending the internet control message protocol or ICMP echo request packets and waiting for the replies, which is echo response. Now guys, let us break down the ping results. So first three replies, we are going to see that each reply shows the IP address of 142 0.250.193.110, which is one of the Google servers. And you can see the round trip time latency for the packets. For the first time, it is showing around 76 milliseconds. For second round trip time, it is showing around 88. Then third is 99. And fourth one is 30 milliseconds. Now, you can see uh, there is something called time to live also. And in this case, the time to live for each packet is around 55 milliseconds. Okay, so basically this field indicates how many hops or routers the packet can pass through before being discarded. Okay, now you can also see the request timeout. So the fourth packet is a request timeout, meaning no reply was received within this set time. And you can also see the ping statistics. So you can say here sent uh, four packets, received four packets and there is no loss. Okay, so this is one thing and also approximate round trip in milliseconds, you can see minimum is 30 milliseconds and maximum is 99 milliseconds. Average is calculated 73 milliseconds. So this is statistics what we got. Now you can see all over here, we have the tracer command. Okay, so here no arguments are provided first. So let us try to understand. The D means do not resolve IP address to host names. Okay, where H means maximum number of hops of routers to search. And W means timeout in milliseconds for each reply. So suppose if I see tracer.google.com, so guys, this will show all the hops that the packet has to travel through reach the Google server, which will help to diagnose where the delays or issues might occur on the path. Now, you can see all over here, there are a lot of options are given. So similarly, you can read this. Now let us try to do the Wireshark analysis. So you can see all over here with our source 10.101.5.118, and we are sending the request to the Google server. And this is internet control message protocol. So you can see all over here, this is echo. This is a ping request with ID 0x001. And we can see the sequence is also given, the time to live, and we are replying in 7641 milliseconds. So this packet is basically what we are doing, guys. We are saying 7630 is our packet number. And this is what we are sending as a request then 7641 is a reply from the Google server with the given ID, okay? The sequence number of this and the time to live and it is also giving the request one. Now, what you can do guys, you can also apply one filter all over here. We can, okay. Now, with the help of this, you can just see there are a lot of options as a filtering, okay? So you can read the documentation for this and whenever it is turning red guys it is showing something is error okay and now uh, 
let us do this and let us type our IP address, say 101, okay, 1.5.118. Okay, so this is also one of the way you can apply the filter. Okay, so it's going to filter out the IP address. Okay, say let's do this. So it is going to filter out our IP address, which is basically the same which is sending because we have not given any other ping request. So guys, here what we can see. So this is kind of the analysis what we are doing basically. Okay, so guys, this was a Wireshark analysis for diagnosing the network issues with the help of ping and trace commands. And you can do a lot more other things with the help of Wireshark. Basically, these tools are used by network administrators, hackers, and also network engineers to understand the network performance, diagnose the network issues, okay? So this was a short exercise which I've shown you about the basics of Wireshark. I hope so, you would have enjoyed our today's video. And don't forget guys to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.